So today I got a 2015 Dodge Charger. A customer mainly, uh, well, I took this off after, but he, tr I guess he tried it. It doesn't work for him. For uh, he's trying to install a four-channel amp. So what I'm be using is what he got. So he got a digital uh, sound digital Evo X2 four-channel, and it does got the. Uh, uh, crossover right there i'm gonna put on high pass on all of them and then he's got this packed i think it's a lp7-2 or he really need a lp7-4 or that way it's got a four channel but i'm gonna do it what he got right here and then he also have a pack uh uh base control or yeah, bass control or whatever, you can turn it up, volume control. I should say volume instead of bass control. That's why I kind of stutter a little bit. For right now, since he got only this one, I'm going to use only one RCA jack. But I will add another RCA jack because I know he's going to end up getting a four channel uh, output from here. So I'm going to do just what he got right now. But I do add, I will, I'm willing to, you know guess that he's going to come back and add so I don't have to do it again. I'm going to run two jacks output. So as you can see, he's majority of it, he's cut some of this wire already. I think this wire right there is for cross, I mean for the uh, tweeters. So he already cut it. I'm going to put it all back right here. I'm going to tape it, see how he cut, cut it so short. I don't know why they cut this and then that. That's kind of weird. They should be cut right here. And then this is go to your uh, four uh, six by nine, the, the two front and the two rear. So I'm going to run the uh, nine wire conductor. Uh, I'll share a link right here where you get it from. You can get it from Amazon or eBay. It's about $15 for the wire. You can run that wire to the back and it's uh, to the amp basically. So this one, I'll pluck it back so he can get his tweeter back from his factory amplifier. And if you want to know where the amplifier is at, amplifier is right there. Actually, this is the amplifier right here. You can look at it. See the black thing? That's amplifier right here. That. And then the plug right there, I pulled it up right here. They already cut the black piece right here already. This is a black plug. This is a white plug. So I'm going to... Well, since they cut already, I'm going to explain it to you. This this one is going to go to your 9-wire uh, uh, conductor. And I will run this thing back to this. And, uh, and this one, I'm going to run it to the... Uh, uh, the line output, uh, the LOC, line output converter right there for this four channel right here. And this one will go straight to the uh, speakers, to the 9 wire conductor. Let's, let's check it out. And he told me that all the speakers missing. I mean, it's too bad that uh, he didn't get a chance to, for me to, uh, I mean, the speaker's not here. He, he uh, I guess he didn't have the money to pay for me to put all this thing back. So I'm going to run the uh, wire for him right here. Uh, so over here, you got the, uh, let me see my diagram. Uh, left rear, you got a, left rear is uh, dark green tan is positive. And then right rear right here you got dark green brown is positive so the other one is negative whatever i mentioned over here the line out converter that i got so what i did i hook up the white to the white uh to the uh gray this is a black plug okay uh how many pin is that two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen pin so i got white to uh gray purple and then a, a white black to the uh, gray yellow. And for the left rear, I mean uh, right front, I'm going to hook up gray to the uh, dark green violet. And then gray black to the dark green yellow. So, you know, the, the solid color is always positive. So, and the rest of this, I'm not going to even touch it. You 
found out already about what color, which one is positive, which one's negative. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And then I'm going to hook up this to the power and this to the ground. I'll show you. And this, you're going to run with the uh, nine-wire conductor, the blue wire, to turn on the amp. And this, you will hook up to the uh, base controller or level controller. I don't want to say base because this is a full channel. So I'm going to show you how to run the uh, nine wire conductor. Uh, so I'm going to start with the left front, which is the same as the uh, the white color. So I got white to the uh, gray purple or gray violet and then white black. I hook it up to the gray yellow. So now I'm going to go to the uh, right front, which is gray wire. So I got white, I mean a gray to the gray purple or gray violet and then gray black I hook it up to the green yellow so now I'm gonna go to left rear so left rear I got the, uh, the green one it's a solid green one go to the dark green tan and then the green black uh, dark green gray so I'm gonna go to the right one which is purple <coughs> so uh, purple I will have the uh, Hmm. Hold on for a second. Let me see. I got the uh, green brown is positive, and then yellow gray is negative. Which is uh, the green brown will go to the gray, and then the uh, not the gray. A uh, green br brown go to the purple, and then the purple black go to the yellow and gray. So, and that's how I got it. And then I'm going to hook this up, this blue wire, to, it's a remote wire. I'm going to hook it up right here. And then I'm going to find the ground and yellow. I'm going to show you on that one. All right, so I got the yellow one to the red, which is the, uh, on the white plug. I'm not sure what pin that is. It's a red, big red wire. And then the black one from the line out converter to the uh, ground right here. And then I'm going to run the remote to that blue wire right here and uh, like I said customer tried this already it didn't work I don't know why hopefully the amp is not bad or the radio output is not bad I didn't ask I didn't know because there's no speaker in here I'm using the uh, uh, Y adapter one male to two female right there right here what I mean by female right there two female male is like this and I'm just plug it in here, plug the jack, the two jack in here so I don't have to do it in the back. Whoa. That's what happens when you have one finger, one hand, man. <laughs> I got the uh, speaker wire hooked up right there for the channel. I got front. Uh, white to uh, this is weird one right here if you bridge it you hook it up on the bottom but if you're not you're putting negative first and then positive and then positive negative and then positive negative and then negative positive it's kind of weird how this thing's hooked up but uh, uh, usually it's go side to side right here but in this case it's different so what I got right here is the ground that I made over here Right there, I use soft type of screw and screw that in. It's a small amp, you don't need to, nothing crazy. So, whoop, I use a ferrule right here. I, I can't do it by one hand, I gotta take it off. So, now I plug it in, push it in here. Well, in order to do that, you gotta loosen some more. Okay, and then you put the Y in here. You see that earlier. And then push it and tighten it and then you got the remote from that nine wire conductor right there that come with the speakers now uh, for this one if anybody that hooked this thing up and uh, want the uh, four channel to work right you cannot do you cannot you got to have a line out converter with a four channel not just a single channel that would not work so your left and right your rear it might not be right this one's only the rear or front that's it so I hook up the two jack right there and make sure this is on the HP or uh, F or full range. I, I might put it on full range depending on how it sounds. 
But uh, that's depend on what kind of speed you got. I would recommend just a high pass HP. So now I'm gonna hook up the power uh, the power over there. I already ran a fuse holder and everything already. Battery you need a 10 millimeter right there. Loosen it up and put the uh, the ring terminal inside here and tighten it back up and uh, uh, zip tight right here and put everything back. Instead of uh, hooking the line out converter to the black uh, plug, which is the uh, subwoofer actually at the mid range, it wouldn't work. That's only for subwoofer. If you're hooking up a 12, 15, 10, 12, 15, you're okay. But if you're going to hook it up a tweeters or high mid range, you need to hook it up to, you got white, you hook it up to uh, right there. I'm not sure what pin it is, but it is uh, white to the uh, gray orange and then white black you want to hook it up to gray yellow and then also the front tweeter right you want to hook up the uh, white and dark uh, uh, white and dark green to the gray and then white and light green to the gray black that would be for the tweeters and let's uh, check see if everything worked before I tape this thing Post game with Shucky and Bubba on the FindYourRide.com stage. Presented by Caps, Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery, Kemba Financial Credit Union. So as you can see, uh, you gotta hook this thing back up. I mean, you cannot, uh, you can you got, you can't unplug this amp because the amp get a signal from the radio and it's, uh, uh, CAN bus, uh, through a CAN bus. So it's not, uh, signal doesn't really get all this wire from that and then he got a bad signal from this pack right there that he got I mean this is uh it's not very expensive but yeah this is bad this is like about 60 bucks or some some in that range so this is bad so what happened is when the radio sent a signal to this one it sent only 5 volt output so I could not get the amp to come on because I I just tested and it's only 5 volt I'm like oh this must be bad so I swap that and it works fine so yes that's how you hook it up the four channel amp and like I said if you do a, a subwoofer only you need to hook up to the black plug that I have you can hear this got sound from here because this thing probably a little bit loose right there yes but that's it but first we're going commercial free this is blast with chosen right here on power when it comes to your